Marie Wilson may be best known as the former president of the Ms. Foundation for Women, a position she held for 20 years. But in 1998, Wilson founded the White House Project, hoping to jumpstart women's leadership roles in the U.S. The current presidential campaign of Senator Hillary Clinton is all about what Wilson has worked for, women as full-fledged political contenders, not female exceptions. At the gala, journalist Maria Inahoso said Wilson believes the youngest women must become a vital part of the political system because they are the pipeline to the future. Marie. Thank you so much for all your work. Felicidades. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I'm honored to actually get this from you and uh, for being part of our baseball card and now the Women's Hall of Fame, of course. But thank you. And I, I want to lift it at the very end to the, a little higher level and tell Rita and Davia and all the people at Women's E! News that actually... Uh, you honor not just the mission of the White House Project, but you honor every woman in this room and the women of this world by making their voices and perspectives heard every day. So we feel honored. And uh, I thank you for this one, but for what you do. Um, when we started the White House Project, I didn't know what would happen, but uh, uh, there was a woman from Ghana at a meeting that I was at, and I was really scared. And she said, oh, sister, don't worry. The world is a mess, and when it's a mess, we get to clean up. And uh, she's right. Uh, we are going to get to clean up. And uh, we are going to get to lead. This is my announcement tonight. We are, we are going to get to lead. And this is our time. This, I cannot tell you how much this is our time. I travel the country soon. Vote Run Lead will be in 12 states. We have run 1,000 women in two years, 40% uh, of them young and 30% of them women of color. So we are going to get to lead everywhere. Uh, and, and you can't be at this event tonight and not agree with our new tagline, which is, add women, change everything. <laughs> Um, because you hear these women and they have changed everything. It's really hard because everybody has made my speech tonight and you know it. Rita keeps looking at me saying, well, what are you going to say? But at any rate, I do want to say a couple of things. The way we have to do it is really um, we have to encourage each other. We have to encourage each other to lead. We have to give each other courage that is in that word. And we have to give it in the old English definition to speak our minds by telling all our hearts. And so I want to end with one thing that I do everywhere I speak across this country, though, Maria. Uh, everywhere I go, I tell people that having done this work now for eight years, and particularly for the last two, I have acquired magic powers. It's amazing. And therefore, what I know is how we get women to lead is that everybody has to encourage people and bring them in. So tonight, everybody at this event has to think of one woman, just one woman, that you want to call in the next 24 hours. And you have to ask her to take the next step, to ask her to take the next bold move, or ask her to actually run for the school board or the city council, the legislature, or the presidency. But in the next 24 hours, if you do not do that, and you heard me say this, something awful will happen to you. <laughs> so I, um, with that complete magic and positive thing, I want to thank all of you, um, and thank you very much. And one quick thank you. Not, none of the work in this room would be possible about some women who have taken enormous brave steps to support it. And I just want to give another thank you to Barbara Dobkin, who has supported so many of us. And uh, when nobody else thought you were crazy, everybody else thought you were crazy. Thank you. Good night. Oh, thank you very much.